Hello, hello. Hello, friends. How's your Tuesday? So far, pretty excellent. Good, good. Excited to talk about some OCI reference types, I hope. Always. I know you. You're always, you wake up in the morning. Just, just. I'm just one of those people. People say, you know, I'm far too prosperous. I just always on the prosperity side of life. Man, that does sound nice. Uh, just going over the agenda. I'll get notes, Jason, so you can be relieved of that burden if you want to run the agenda oh, down. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I am already removing myself from the note taker uh, list. <laughs> Brandon, second, second me silver medal. I don't mind if you want to take it too, Brandon. I'm not here to stomp on any toes. I just Ever since uh, Jason started the second place award there, I had to keep it going. Second place note taker, but first in our hearts, tied for first in no. our hearts. You're all tied for first in my heart. Except Josh, he knows what he did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if there's a quorum we're trying to meet. I mean, I think we, a good number of folks are here. I guess we can get started. Silence my other windows. Uh, and yeah. Uh, Josh has most of the agenda items. I silenced my other windows and then I lost all the tabs where I was. There we go. Uh, Josh has all the uh, the first items, I'll let him start with the smattering of baby PRs. Yes, I have a smattering of baby PRs that I opened last week. Um, and I think they're relatively harmless. Um, I can walk through, I'll just walk through some of these changes really quick. Um, we had opened up a doc uh, about the ice cream stuff. And I think Steve had made a bunch of points that like, we're actually, concerning ourselves with the sort of like trucking company and there, there he is. We're concerning ourselves with like the trucking company. Uh, and so I just added a little bit of language in here that talks about uh, that and how we're kind of focused on the transportation of the ice cream from uh, the factory to the consumer. Um, and so this, this one's like relatively harmless considering it's ice cream related. Um, this uh, is a placeholder for changes that we will have to graft into the specs if, if it's necessary given the outcome of the group. So um, Nisha, I don't know if you're here, but there was a comment about like these categories these four are specifically what we broke down conformance and distribution spec. So perhaps it is that we need to add more categories to uh, registry uh, API, but I'm imagining most will fall under discovery and management. It could be that these just, we don't need any updates, but perhaps pool, we need to pool things in, uh, in a different way. Um, image spec, uh, this is kind of out of a conversation with Brandon and Slack, but it could be the case that we need to introduce a new manifest format. Um, Steve or Nisha, do you want to talk about this one specifically or I see hands. I have. Okay, thank you. Um, this is related to my uh, point in the agenda, which is the process of migrating uh, decisions into these um, mini baby PRs, baby documents or skeleton documents. Nice work, by the way, uh, Josh. Most of it looks good. 
um, including the division of um, the categories. My only concern is that the at this stage, the categories do not match what's in the Google Doc. And most of us are working from the Google Doc. Um, okay. I, I, uh... So your categories here is like, I want to query the registry. I want to store in the registry. I want to automate and uncategorized. Or yeah. Uh, so, so basically, sorry. Yeah, this is the, the, the reason I open these is just wanting to like give us a skeleton for moving forward and less about like trying to make some sort of unilateral decision. Um, but maybe I can explain the difference between these four documents. Um, the stuff in the Google Doc is what I'm considering requirements. When we were talking last week and the week before, um, we're talking about like the user stories. And hopefully from that, we can actually come up with the requirements of the working group. The changes doc is more like we have our requirements. Um, we've come up with our like straw man API or our design. And these are the, these are the things that we're going to need to propose into the other pieces of OCI. And I actually included a, a part for TOB because perhaps there could be that we're blocked because we can't make administrative uh, decisions there. So um, that's what number five is about. Does that kind of clarify, Nisha? Yeah, I mean, I understand the intent um, totally. Uh, you're, you're making placeholders to put decisions that we make about um, requirements, about what changes need to happen. All of that sounds great. Um, I, I was, for that particular section, I was thinking, you know, you may have jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe just to, you know, remove the categorization altogether and we can add categorizations later. I'm fine with that. That works for me. Okay, um, I can make that change when we move on from my uh, topics. Um, Steve, did you have anything so, you wanted to say on that topic? Yeah, sorry. You know, I, I just I like the way you. I, I also think it's interesting just in the transition from the Google Doc to a PR because there was some good conversation happening in the Google Doc, which is easier to iterate on uh, than a PR. This is kind of the, the hack MD kind of things before it goes into a PR. The but I do like the categories because it maps back to what you were doing in the um, conformance tests on push pull discover. Um, I agree in general, there shouldn't be much. The only thing on pull that's been interesting we've been doing within, with the Aura's artifact stuff is, and I know we don't get into often permissions in the in the specs, but we mm -hmm. do make sure the specs support registries to do often permissions, because of course we all do, um, is when you pull something, the ability to pull the references as well, like the permission to pull the net monitor v1 image has even though that we separate permissions on discover the list of tags and so forth if you can pull the net monitor image you should be able to pull reference types so i think there's there is some subtleties there to just keep those categories because it maps back to your conformance tests um and there it makes it easy for subtleties of the diff the requirements to feed into those categories that yes and that was like 100 my goal um so it sounds like Nisha, we're kind of in disagreement on that. I, 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 I just to add to that, I think what all Nisha is saying is I think that this will be great in the Google Doc to be capturing as a discussion. Yeah. That's all. I, that's um, what I heard. So okay, so maybe um, maybe that's the conversation we should have. Is like what is our process here, and that's kind of the my. My second point, um, like I'm seeing a lot of the, you know, these PRs, like I, Jason has a gray check and I'm getting a gray check from 
Brandon and great checks from Nisha. And I just, I'm curious, like, how are we to progress here? Um, how are, what is the process of getting from Google Doc to this? Because I, I understand how this can be seen as me jumping the gun, but if we are only able to meet for one hour a week and work on a Google Doc, when do we make that transition? Is there a way that like the four people I listed could like get merged rights on this? Um, and I, I don't mean like, I don't mean for this to be a call out. Um, like Lockie especially has been here besides I think last week, but like, are these the people that are supposed to have uh, plus one plus one here, or is it the members that are coming to the coming to the call? Because I don't feel like there's any meaning in me opening these or anyone trying to make that transition if we can't get them in. Um, yeah, so, I think so that's uh, yeah, I think that's an interesting parallel also to the problems that OCI has had in even in image spec and distribution spec that like the folks actively discussing some issue or question or proposal may all agree, but if the people with the power to hit the big green button aren't in the room, then it doesn't mean a lot. Um, I would like to change that <laughs> for this group, uh, both because uh, I think we have a specific charter to make a change, whereas the other specs I don't think have a charter to make a change, they have a charter to maintain. Uh, and uh, at the end of the day, like whatever we write in our GitHub repo is not law, right? Whatever we write in our GitHub repo is our proposal to the law <laughs> upstream and into, into image spec and distribution spec. So I think there should be a much lower barrier to entry to get stuff merged in there. Um, as to the question of like, what is our process? We're, we're the only adults in the room. So the process is whatever we all collectively agree on. Um, I, if people think that stuff is getting put into PRs too fast, then putting them into PRs faster isn't going to make anybody happy. Um, so I think like we just need to uh, come up with some process where we know that where we are making the discussion is happening in Google Docs or is happening in PRs. As long as we all agree, I don't particularly care. Uh, I just don't want it to be uh, I don't want to spend all of our time in the only hour we have talking to each other every week talking about where we discuss things. <laughs> I want to talk about specific issues that we think we want to uh, agree or disagree on. Um, I will open it back up to the floor if people think that we should do more discussion in Google Docs or PRs or whatever. I'm totally fine with anything. I think the, the my TLDR is the barrier to entry in the repo should be low because it doesn't matter what we write until we you know, finish and propose it to the to the actual adults. Lucky. I got a rebuttal, but yeah, lucky. Yeah, so it you know, I just went through the agenda and I think all these things are, you know, basically the the agenda for today. So we're not putting the cut before the horse. All these things need to naturally happen. It sounds like that we're at that, that point now. So I just wanted to address them top down. First thing, thanks, Josh, for putting this scaffold out and, and starting to putting, putting a place where we can start to put decisions into place. And, you know, I'm for, you know, merging fast and merging often. And like, let's iterate, because as you said, you know, getting things in here doesn't mean anything's changed and we can continue to iterate. So um, I'm, I'm happy to do that. So, you know, whether the, the scaffolding fields are there or not, based on what Nisha said, I don't mind because I know we can reserve the right to change that down. You know, whether you've got push, pull, discover, we can figure out how that looks. Um, the process of how we do the decision making, I think it would be worth having a conversation now and see if we can swizzle on it and make a decision. And, and some loose agreement here and then maybe just document how we're going to work. And then the other thing is, you know, I've spoken to Chris when it, Chris Anacek from OCI on who has repo access and no, nobody does because I was like, well, let's just figure out how we get repo access. So whatever we suggest, Chris and Amy are waiting for us to say, you know, we can put in a maintainer's file, however we want to do this. But the intent is that we set up and get this place working, but I didn't want to go and 
jump out in front of everybody. And those names of the organizers was just to show there was some commitment to the proposal that people were going to get, show up. And I don't think, you know, John, John's here as well. He can chime in um, and whoever else. It was basically we had a group of people who were invested in making sure that this working group was stood up. Um, but as to people who can merge, I'm less worried about that. You know, I want to make it lower barrier to entry and make sure we have accountability between all of us to check each other's checks and balances here. I don't think merge access is something we need to gate, um, but we should just try for the end of this meeting to come up with an agreement and then I can, I or any one of us can take back to Chris and say, can you implement these access rights so we can start to make some movement in the um, repository. So I'm all for these things. Again, I didn't want to go to Chris and say, hey, put all these things in place. And Amy, it was kind of like, let's get to the, let's get to that place. And it looks like we're getting to that place now. So I didn't want to kind of push process on us until it was needed. So, you know, what I'd ask for the remaining time, just my suggestions are, how do we go from process from where we ideate things to where we bring them into issues slash PRs. And one of the hopes when Chris, when I spoke to Chris about this was using GitHub discussions. Um, I don't know if anybody's used that for more longer running things. It doesn't have to be that, it can be a Google doc, but how do we take what's in the Google doc and then start to transpose that into the structure you're laying out, Josh? And um, the other thing is who should have access to approve and what kind of merge access do we want to set up on this repo? I'd like to get those things answered and then, you know, we can run them down. That's, that's it. But thanks, Josh, for getting these in and we should get them cleaned up. You know, that's my intent and get them merged in. Yeah, thanks, Josh, for, for taking that on and both, both the initial sort of bucketing into stuff, which was super helpful and then moving it over into PRs. Uh, I thank you, Lucky, also for for being open to you know giving people access as much as we want. I, I uh, appreciate that. I still think there is a potential issue on the horizon that the working group leads that have final sort of approval over what we produce. Again, what we're producing is not the law. What we're producing is a proposal to the law or a proposal to the specs. Um, I have. A slight concern that the people in this discussion are uh, coming, going to come together and hash out a lot, uh, a lot of requirements, a lot of proposals, come to something we like and have to get through the gatekeepers of the approvers that haven't been in the discussion for the last few months. And then when we get over that hurdle, we have to take it to the OCI TOB as another group of gatekeepers that have not been involved in the discussion. And I just don't think it's a setup that warrant, like a, a setup that, that facilitates actual merging of changes. Uh, and it will be very frustrating for the Josh's and Nisha's and Brandon's and Jason's and Steve's of the world that have been spending months talking about this. If we have to get over first the hurdle of the working group leads that weren't involved and then the TOB leads that were involved. Um, I don't know how to resolve that. I just see uh, uh, you know black sails on the horizon and I wanna avoid them. So, um let me start off by making some suggestions and see where we go so um obviously everyone wants to get this resolved and get back to the meat of the stuff oh there lucky said let's make suggestions okay um so my suggestion would be um lean on the note taker a little more than it being a passive you know just write down notes about what everyone is doing and kind of leverage the note taker to write down uh, consensus and action items. So the consensus is uh, a record of what we as a group decide and the actions are what needs to go into the proposal. And um, someone can follow up on those actions. Uh, Josh has been very proactive about this, but I would suggest that we spread that work around. Um, and as far as the folks with the merge rights are concerned, 
I am, I would just say, let's just vote now. And someone take the action to tell people, <laughs> to tell whoever's, um, or the TOB or whoever, Chris and Amy, you know, we, we as a working group have decided that these folks have merge rights. Can you please give them merge rights? Jeff? Um, I think I had something else to say, but I, like um, one of the comments between like the four PRs I have on there that I said, uh, I think Nisha was asking like, why let's resolve this in Google Doc. I think one of the things I think we should keep in mind is that if we do well here, then we could hopefully archive this repo, right? Like if the working group comes up with a proposal and the proposal lands into distribution spec, image spec, and we all have champagne. Like let's archive it. The next discussion will be in another working group. So I don't think we need to treat what's in that repo as like so, so sacred, almost to like Nisha, like what you're saying, maybe the note taker submits the PR of the notes into the repo and that becomes the record Google Docs, I can come in and just like wipe the whole thing and it's gone. Um, I don't know, maybe Google has backup. But um, like if you look at what I'm doing in these PRs, there's actually a new section in, in the README that's called in progress. And so perhaps like what if uh, I wanted to come up with a straw man for the API or like the Aura stuff gets put into an official like working group proposal like, why is that even something that needs review to be in a temporary uh, space as like Josh's proposal, right? I think maybe we look at like the way we structure the repo as like, uh, there's a temporary folder and then there's like a more permanent folder that we agree on. Um, and then my other, my last comment is like on consensus, I think we need to figure out what consensus means because uh, like, I think that's like a feeling, like that's not really, you, you can walk away from a call and be like, oh yeah, there was consensus on, about ice cream, right? And like, so let's merge this thing. But like, maybe there's not, maybe we need to have like some sort of voting, anonymous voting thing. and if there's action items or voting items at the end of the call and everyone has 72 hours to vote on it and it makes it into the repo. I don't know. It just seems like consensus is not something you can determine from a call, really. I yield. Uh, I guess Lucky has something to say. Yeah, I was just going to say, let's start making suggestions and see see how they they go. You know, I, I I advocate for keeping the the process as lean as possible. And you know, if if any have been on other boards and things like that, basically it's somebody proposes a motion to make a change, and people hands up, hands down. And you know, we could extend that to to virtual forums as well. But you know, I don't want to go wrap this in some big voting. You know, it kind of defeats the. I, I would let's keep it lightweight and use the accountability between us. As Steve said, you know, there's some level of trust that we're all working towards the same thing here. And what 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 thing you know is Jason? Jason, how do we hedge on the? How do we get ahead of the the worries you have? Like what process we could put in in place, if any. Um, but. You know, do we need to start just throwing throwing down some different suggestions here? Because there's enough people in the room who are participating now to make a decision, and let's let's get it in. I don't think we should sit on this for too too long, and we can iterate later. I'm like, me don't measure and cut, and then measure afterwards and go, damn it, I just need to recut the the wood. <laughs> and by yeah. decision, are you saying decision on approving these PRs or decision yeah. on changing maintainers? I think, I think, but yeah, what's the process for iterating? You know, Josh was like, do we throw out a, a WIP 
director directory in the in the repo where people can start iterating and there's you know we throw things in there merge fast and often and iterate quickly and then you know there's a uh, i don't know some kind of lightweight draft rc you know final what we would submit to the, the tob and i think the other thing we we do have tob members in the room they can liaise us so hopefully they're not coming in cold to the point that you know when we're making the proposal to the TOB there's enough representation of the TOB that they've got a semblance of what's coming down the gauntlet um, but for working groups you know we're setting the stage here we have the responsibility to set the stage for how subsequent working groups whether we care or not I think setting something up and a process up that's lightweight enough to show that this is something that's of value to the OCI is really important and the way we do that is not by putting hundreds of layers of bureaucracy down a level so that we've just augmented this we've replicated the same kind of thing at the top how do we you know so i'm going to stop throwing questions out here let's just start making suggestions and let's see what what we can land on i think there's enough experience collectively here on us to to create a list of maintainers that we could propose to to chris and amy and define a lightweight process to taking things from suggestion iterated stage and and figuring out where we want to do that discussion yeah i think my my concrete uh suggestion uh would be to give as many people merge rights as possible have that repo be as fast moving as we can get it and for everyone to have a mindset change to not care if some if you disagree with something currently in the repo that's fine send an issue send a pr to change it it is it is it exists to be maximally editable and modifiable uh which might feel unusual if you are coming from the broader oci ecosystem uh but the point of the repo i think is a, like i want to have the mindset that the point of the repo should be fast moving constantly moving until it settles naturally over time to some like oh we no longer have anything to argue about this must be the thing we all agree on let's propose it does that, does anyone want to disagree with my suggestion? I disagree. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, mostly because we're working in a group and, you know, having one person stomp over somebody else's stuff just willy nilly without any kind of, you know, um, discussion about why uh, one person has written like over somebody else's stuff uh, will cause a lot of um, hurt. Um, now, having said that, if there is a if there is an agreement among the group that we take everybody's changes in good faith, then I don't have any problems with that. So, I, I guess the vote is like everybody gets merged rights. And everybody agrees that, you know, we're having open and honest discussions about why we're making changes. I was going to go for kind of the halfway solution there of saying anybody that wants to be a maintainer, just do a quick raise hand. We take a list and then get that list, you know, as long as we internally agree, those are a good list of people, send that up. Yeah, I'll just vote myself. I'd like to be a maintainer, please. Give me more rights. Okay, let's just, I think we're coalescing here to some decision, which is good. Um, and let's let's get it documented in the notes. I'll come back in a second. Um, can we just kind of think about how this would work functionally? Like, let's just game it out. Everybody gets merge access. I think the interesting thing to consider what Nisha was saying is, do we create, so, so what are we expecting to happen? Are we expecting a whole bunch of proposals that people scaffold into directories and then we start to consider and they're kind of the, the working place for this uh, discussion and ideas to be uh, uh, put, you know, put into play? Uh, and if that's the case, does it make sense just to say, if that's the case, then we probably just need a gating consensus barrier that you get over that once we've made a decision, we move that thing into some other place like Josh's top level structures and say that we've had agreement on this particular piece of this working group. 
um, and then we can start to bring it up into those. So we just gating the the final thing that goes into the proposal and having just open space to uh, let's just say a, a WIP directory where people can start to scaffold out ideas and iterate quickly. Because I do want to consider what Nisha is saying, and in, in that let's try not to stomp over each other. Is that creating just a, a kind of a sandbox where people can scaffold out documents that they can present during an agenda for feedback and we capture all the, you know, the good thing is about that method is we're not copying everything out of Google Docs into, into Git and then we have the traceability back that doesn't disappear when you remove the archive and we don't have to manage the document Google Doc forever. So maybe having that accountability is good in, in GitHub, but um, yeah, what are we what are we functionally proposing? Is it anybody can do anything anywhere? Or are we all going to have an agreement that we carve out a space within this repo that we start to scaffold out ideas and then get agreement with the group as to how we bring them up into the, the top level set of directories as a, this is the actual working thing that we have agreement on? I don't think I would, I don't think I would recommend uh, like a WIP slash Josh directory where he can do whatever he wants and a WIP slash Lockheed directory where he can do whatever he wants. I think I think the, the solution to the problem of stomping over each other's changes is trust and humanity and don't, you know, don't write a bot that deletes every word that Josh writes. Uh, that's that that that's wrong. Um, I think I think having a shared uh, history preserving scratch pad is useful for discussion and is useful for progress going forward. And if you use it to delete everything Nisha writes, then you get your keys revoked. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. I just think, I just think we have to trust each other not to make malicious changes or, uh, mess with each other. Nisha, go ahead. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I do want to point out just because I'm a pedant that uh, Google Docs has version control. Like you can go back to a previous revision to see what has changed. Um, in as far as like a process is concerned, I think, you know, the, the, the artifact of the discussions that we're having over here is the Google Doc and if we can document what we have decided to do in the Google Doc, then what happens in the repo is the result of the Google Doc. And as such, people will be able to, you know, figure out, okay, the, the changes that are happening, like suppose I go on vacation and come back to see what decisions people have made. Um, I would probably go and look at the GitHub repo, but in order to have like that, you know, the artifact from a face-to-face -face or Zoom discussion. Um, yeah, so um, it, as long as there is a place to record consensus or agreements, or actions that have happened that are the result of us speaking in the meeting, whether it's in the Google Doc or whether it's on GitHub repos as, as issues. Um, everything else is kind of like uh, voluntary. People pick up an issue or pick up an action and start uh, uh, working on it and asking for feedback. Sajay, go ahead. I wanted to kind of like disagree with that sentiment primarily because as an author, um, I typically come to GitHub to see specs and consensus. I personally am not kind of like fond of writing something into Google Docs primarily because it cannot keep history. Like the current extension PR in OCI, it took two years to get through, but the comments are all tracked and there's very, very good record of everybody who's actually spoken on it. When you ask somebody from the community to come and maybe open an issue, it'll happen in the GitHub repo. Asking them to go and enter this into a Google Doc might be challenging. So in the end, for me, GitHub is 
currently the place where a lot of the discussions are captured and there's identity there, there is history there. Um, so that's why I was kind of like hoping that we keep GitHub as a source of truth and show progress. The Google Doc is great for the meeting. And I think there are other communities like Helm and folks that move the meeting notes into uh, maybe a repo or a, a markdown or something like that to kind of show progress. So um, consider folks who are not on the call as well, because they need to come and open an issue somewhere. And a doc seems like a very odd place to kind of ask them to follow a, uh, a train of thought in some way. Anyway, that, that's all. Seems to me that there is some consensus around um, using GitHub issues to record consensus or uh, and uh, next steps. I think so, yeah. And uh, there is uh, a need to create like a meetings folder in that repo to put meeting notes in there. Sure. I think the I think the 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 actual sticking point question is not when we have consensus on something, where do we put it? I think that I think everyone agrees that belongs in in the GitHub repo for you know in perpetuity in perpetuity for forever. Uh, the question is where do we put not yet reached consensus ideas for discussion, for feedback, for typo fixes, for comments, for you know anything. Um, when so that that sounds like Google Doc. I, I, I mean, tend that, to agree with you. I tend to agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. That that at least that's what it is right now. Now whether that's going whether we want to move that to GitHub discussion or something, um, I am. Uh, I do not have any opinion on that. That can, in my opinion, that can go anywhere, as long as we know, okay. <laughs> as a group, where it is. How about how about the uh, as as a as a uh, shirking of making a rule for this? As you, as the author of the proposal, gets to decide whether that proposal is a PR or a GitHub discussion or a doc or a HackMD or papyrus or you know smoke signals. Uh, you as the author get to decide what what that arena for discussion is, so long as what if, whenever we come to a consensus on that discussion, we all agree it goes in, into GitHub. So if you prefer GitHub discussions or, or PRs for your discussion, you can do that. If you prefer docs, you can do that. Um, and then when consensus would... is reached, when we're done, we put it in the PR or put it in the repo. How do you feel? That's fine with me. I just think maybe the 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 top artifact maybe just be we should just agree on it being a GitHub issue to say that I'm you know we've had this discussion in the meeting. Here's the action item, GitHub issue. I'm going to go work on this in a doc. I'm going to go work sure. on this in a discussion. I'm going to add a. Okay. At least then we've got the top level. There was an action and it was in this meeting, and now we've got a GitHub issue. So if we and maybe that's just the the start of the process. Nobody needs um you know merge rights to raise an issue and then you know how it yields down to what you were saying jason i think that's reasonable um so then as a note taker as we're doing actions whoever's assigned to them the first step is does this have an issue if no go create one if yes you know amend where you're keeping the running the running work and then at least every, sorry yeah is that I don't think I have too much else. I was just going to, having an issue, we've had the same problem with hack docs. You know, they're kind of like out there in the ether. Maybe you have a hack doc profile that helps find it. Others can't find it. So having an issue in the project that links to where that discussion is, then everybody's collaborative on that discussion. And then you take chunks of that output and create PRs. But hack or Google docs is, just, is, is a great way for iterative discussions. But yeah, absolutely. I, Totally support getting this stuff into the repo as fast as possible. The stuff that there's you know consensus around. So issue to track the, the doc was the main point. Great. I think we have come to an agreement on how we want the process to be. Uh, if anyone disagrees that we have come on, come to agreement, this is your opportunity to challenge me. So can you just collate the the major points here, Jason, as the chair sure. of what uh, we're agreeing to? Uh, when in a meeting we come up with 
an issue that needs to be discussed, it, uh, an issue is opened and assigned to someone, that person can choose whatever format they want for that discussion to take place, GitHub issue, doc, HackMD, et cetera. When consensus is reached, whatever format that discussion was, when consensus is reached, uh, that result is committed to the uh, GitHub repo. Is that a correct summary? I think so. So if I take what you, sorry, I see a whole bunch of people jumping off mute. I'll, I'll yield and go, because I'm talking a lot, go. I was going to jump in real quick. And I think what Steve was saying was that there'll be an issue opened up in the repo saying where that discussion is taking place. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Make sure that gets in there. Yeah. So if we were to just run this through the ringer with what Josh has done in the last week, you know, we would have had at the meeting last week, Josh is going to go and scaffold out some top level, you know, placeholder uh, docs that are going to land as PR. And he would have an issue for that. And these would be four linked and we'd all go, oh, we know about this. You know, now we'll approve and, and get it in because everybody's kind of expecting Josh to go and do that. Yeah. Um, uh, Nisha has her hand up, I will join the queue. Yeah, and, and I was just gonna add to that, that Josh has merged rights, so he could just do it and merge it in. I, right, I'd yeah. still like some green checks, I think. Um, that's your, maybe, yeah, that's, nah, that, that's but, your decision. I mean, yeah. Um, no. I, uh, I wanted to bring up a thing that, <laughs> thank you, Brandon, for the green check. Uh, I wanted to bring up a thing. Um, I want to make sure that we don't only assign issues and start discussions at this meeting. I think one of Josh's points uh, was also that we, we shouldn't only work on this an hour a week. We should think about this as much as we can, as much as we want, as much as time allows. I would just say, let's utilize the Slack channel and just say, hey, I'm dedicating time to work on this. Yeah. And I expect set some expectation with people that you're going to set aside time and some amount of time period that I'm thinking about this and I have time dedicated between meetings. And then, you know, everybody can kind of thumbs up or ask questions. And then that can either yield a go throw an issue in and start working on it. But we definitely, as you said, we want to get to the point that we, we don't have to make every decision on this call every week or even have this call every week. We need to get, you know, asynchronously up and running. So I just say, like, anything that you're working on between this, like, let's start to get the conversations happening in, in the working group Slack. That way, everybody has visibility into what's happening. And... Um, Finally, I think the only other bit is it looks like Josh has created a maintainer's is issue. Is that correct, Josh? And add Sorry, your name yeah. if you want to be in the maintainer. Basically, yes. Like we were saying, let's, um, if you want in, you're in. So I opened a issue that's like the latest issue in the repo. I linked it in the chat in Zoom. Um, just put your name and then maybe let's give it till I don't know, Thursday, Lockie, and then you can take that to Chris or something. So add your name by Thursday and you get green check power. Everybody okay with and that? Should we, maybe, should we maybe include the people who are organizers as well, just so that? Yeah, we'll just uh, aggregate that uh, with the okay. list. And when you say integrate here, <laughs> sorry, I, I like making sure I'm not gonna go do the wrong thing. Are we just going to do owners and then set up branch protection to say that, hey, ask for, you know, optional required people and approvers? So using the GitHub tooling, just to say that anybody in that list of owners, I think it's called the owners file. So we add all the GitHub handles to that. We set up branch protections on main and we just say that, you know, two optional uh, approvers or, you know, what, what do we want there? Or nothing. We just say, as long yeah. as you are part of this, you have merge access, so add direct, you know, admin access to the repo, or are we just using the tooling to get the green check boxes? And I think that you have to use the owner's file thing, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. 
I think so. I think though there's a bigger issue in OCI, which is I think I think it's coming from organizations. So we may need to make a team. And I think that's like pretty much just Chris. I, I'm I'm TOB now and I don't have that access. I don't know, maybe like Steve or John or someone, but I, I can't like make a team. So I think we need to make a team, put the people on the team. I'm still confused how owners plays into it, but yeah, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make a team. You can use owners. You reference the team name and owners, and then you regex. I'll just star it. They have access to everything. Okay. And then in the branch protections on the main branch, we can say, "Hey, optional or required," and how many people in that list need to look at something before it's mergeable, or nothing. We just let it go. Looks like I can create a team, so I'm sorry. I can help with that. Yeah. Okay, then I, I can probably just work with, with you, Josh, on getting it. And if we need, you know, yeah. Chris okay. and Amy for anything, we can. But let's just take it together and get it in place. Looks like Brian's got something. Have you got for something, Brian? Oh, I was just going to say, just for the sake of formality, at some point, going to want to shift from like we're you're gonna need to actually be able to have votes and say okay well we need to get everybody who is a maintainer on board to this change or like 90 some super majority of the maintainers or whatever on board to a particular change but totally like for the work in progress stuff it totally makes sense to just do whatever in terms of those branch protections yeah and all that. i'm i i like 100 percent with you on that and i don't know i don't think branching is I think we should keep things on main, but maybe we have a folder that's like official output of the group and that requires some percentage of things. And maybe we can do like, it can't be this many people from the same company and stuff like that. Like, I think we need to protect it, but make it in a way that you can vote. Um, you can't just get one check mark, one green check and you're in, so. Again, I think just to, just to remind us no. that what, what we're doing is not that important and doesn't need that much bureaucracy. Uh, it won't like immediately get proposed to TOB as soon as there is a work, like as soon as the proposal directory gets merged to, we're all adults, we're all just gonna talk to each other before we send anything. So uh, all the talk about like needing five votes from three different companies or whatever really fills me with chills. I was just gonna say the same thing. It's, I mean, this is a working group. These aren't specs. We have proposals to specs. This is just a working group. And you know, there will be time for these bureaucracies later. Believe exactly. Me. Yeah. I just, I just wanted to clarify. Like, it's like at some point, like it, that's gonna have to happen. It just, like, it just, yeah, it's yeah. totally fine to just reject star everything. So, uh, Josh, you have your hand up. What's up? Yeah, I'm sorry I gave you the chills. Um, I. <laughs> Uh, I think one thing that you mentioned, Jason, er, 20 something minutes ago that I think is actually a huge concern is how is the work that we're doing going to land? And we have like several of the TOB uh, people on the call right now. Um, I still have not been indoctrinated in the robe ceremony, but like, what do we need to do? Like, how can we make this so it's a successful thing? And I think we can propose changes in the charter, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I know that's a long process too, so. We did outline that in the reference type working group, you know, like the, the PR that initiated this progress. It was, it was clearly called out. This group will make recommendations. We're not starting it with the assumption of what those recommendations are. You know, could be a new spec, could be modifications to existing specs. It could be, use what's there today and we're done. Like, we don't know what the outcome is. So this group is the yeah. recommendation. Yeah, I would just say like from the TOBs, having them in this meeting, let's figure out what the output that would be most useful to the TOB to make a decision based on a proposal. But we, I'd say we formulate a proposal, which is a set of art artifacts or artifacts is maybe a bad word, documents um, and that's that sub constitutes the proposal. Then we say to you know everybody in this working group, are we all in agreement at some level, some supermajority, that this is the proposal we want to go to the TOB with? Everybody says their piece, and then we go and make that process 
which is, uh, you know, raising an issue or a PR that we have a proposal from this working group ready and we start the discussions, you know, either everybody's part of it or whoever wants to be part of it. But um, there's okay. going to be a step where we formulate everything into a proposal. We all agree on that as part of the working group. And then we agree on taking that to the TOB. And I think as TOB members, just what do you need to see in the proposal in order to facilitate a discussion where you can make a decision is what I'd want to have the TOB's eye on. Yeah, I think I think I uh, I agree that having TOB folks involved in the discussion will be very helpful. I think to Nisha's point, I uh, I agree that we may be uh, you know one mile into the marathon talking about where we're going to go for burgers afterwards. Um, we should probably focus on the next 25, 22 miles. How long is a marathon? Clearly, I'm very active. It's it's um, it's yeah, 20, 26, but the burgers actually help you get through the marathon. That's the thing. Oh, mid marathon. Ice cream, yeah. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> uh anyway, yeah. Uh, uh Josh, you still have your hand up and then Tiana. Oh, bye. Didn't, didn't mean. Go ahead. Um, I'm confused why we're talking about a proposal to the TOB. The TOB is the oversight body, not the TDC, which is where the proposal is actually going to go specifically for image spec and distribution spec. So there's two separate maintainer bodies that we're probably going to propose something to. Yeah, thank you for uh, that is a very helpful fact check before we get too far down the, the road of who uh, is going to be actually approving any of this. I think that fills me with even more dread about where we're going to get burgers at after this, because we need to have two separate somewhat overlapping groups, potentially three separate potentially overlapping groups agree to whatever we produce. So we need to make sure that they're aware of our work as we're going and not spend nine months coming up with a spec that just falls flat on its face when confronted with the bureaucracy of stream. Yeah, I think that's that's why I, in, in all our previous discussions, I tried to focus on words like minimal and incremental, because I think those are going to be easier for those downstream maintainer groups to digest because they won't have had the shared context of six weeks of hour long discussions plus whatever happened in the get the google doc plus whatever happened in github that we've all had yeah they'll just see here's the proposal do you like it yeah they will also see all of our haggard faces from all of the discussions that we have had and, and if we all agree to it then it must be good right um but yeah i I agree. Uh, I we only have seven minutes left, but I would. Uh, I think this has been a productive discussion in terms of what we think we are going to produce, how we think we are going to produce it, how we want to have discussions, how we want to, you know, reach or have discussions to reach consensus. Assuming we will reach consensus, uh, I would love to have more technical discussions next week and over the next week. To Josh's point, not just next week. Um, is there, uh, I don't want to start that discussion now, but I am interested in soliciting people's technical discussions so that we can think about them and talk about them next week. Uh, Nisha, go ahead. Before I do that, just one more thing. I filed an issue to create a, a governance or process operations document to just document how we're going to do this process it's just a cap on everything that we've had uh, all the discussion we had today and moving forward uh i'd like to tackle the user stories um cleaning up next time great uh can you can someone uh add that to the agenda for next week so that we remember that that's what we wanted to do and we'll take a look at it over this week and then talk about it next week uh, yeah, go ahead. One one idea I just had is maybe the, the maintainers we come up with for this working group become essentially the the stewards. I don't know what a good word is for that to to actually 
explain our position to the downstream maintainers like they're they're the ones who are responsible for ensuring that the working group actually lands where it's supposed to yeah i think i think that will be i think that will be helpful and in fact so helpful that whether it's a formal position and job that will be all of our practical positions and jobs is to to help uh make sure that this lands um yeah just going through the chat and everyone's making me so hungry should not have made a food metaphor um all right great uh does, does anybody uh have anything else they want to chat about or we can end five minutes early for lunch I think it's just ice cream and sliders at this point. Delicious. Ice cream sliders, the best of both worlds. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, have a lovely week, and we'll talk to you later on the internet. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.